The later stages of the Napoleonic Wars were dominated by the battle for the peninsula. That was in Spain and Portugal. The Iberian Peninsula was significant strategically because it meant control of access to the Mediterranean and this was important in terms of trade for both Britain and France. By 1808, Napoleon had launched a coup, placing his brother Joseph Bonaparte on the throne of Spain. News of this reached England later that year in a letter to the Prime Minister, the Duke of Portland. By the middle of 1808 and thereafter, British forces arrived in strength. Lieutenant Colonel Francis Henry Mellish was a good example of somebody who faced the campaign in Spain and wrote home his experiences in a series of letters to his sister Anne. Our march has been most harassing. For four days and nights it never ceased raining. All the villages through which the enemy had passed were burnt, so that after marching all day in the rain we had nothing to do but to lie down and sleep in it, and that frequently without anything to eat from the badness of the roads being such as nearly to prevent the possibility of fording supplies. Added to this, we have had no means of getting our horses shod, and frequently none of getting them any forage, so that we have been riding in misery both to ourselves and them. We have been recompensed for all this by what you as an artist would, I suppose, think quite sufficient, the most magnificent scenery I ever saw. This, however though it may be very pleasant for a party on a summer's day, is but moderate food for a hungry soldier after a long wet march. In 1812, Wellington pulled off a masterstroke in his victory at Salamanca. The French had mistaken the movement of Wellington's baggage train and regarded it as Wellington abandoning his post. In fact, he used this as a strategic opportunity to capture Salamanca, which he then provisioned with his own forces. The war in Spain carried on relentlessly throughout the period up to 1814, with a series of sieges and set-piece battles. But ultimately, the campaign went Britain's way, in no small measure as a large part of the contribution of the Spanish partisans themselves. However, those who served in the peninsula subsequently felt somewhat neglected by comparison with Waterloo veterans. It was not until 1847 that a General Services Medal was issued to all surviving veterans of the Peninsula Wars. This drew stark comparison with those who had fought at Waterloo, who were rewarded with a medal within two years of that campaign. Mm -hmm.